Hey there, it's Jane from the blog chalkandupsuccess.com and today I'm getting ready to wrap some gifts to go under the tree and I thought I'd take you along with me and show you how I do it. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it too much on here but if you've read my blog then you'll know that um, I'm doing as much as I can to try and reduce the amount of plastic we use in our home and I'm by no way perfect at it um, but I try to do my bit and at Christmas time so much wrapping paper is thrown away. Um, a lot of it, even when it's paper, um, if there's anything shiny on it or glitter, anything like that, then it can't be recycled. And also the, um, the little wax curly ribbons that lots of people use, they can't be recycled either. And if you use uh, sellotape, clear tape on the packages, then the paper, that also can't be recycled. So I decided I'm going to create some eco-friendly um, gift wrapping solutions um, that can be made with brown paper or craft paper. I'm going to be using lots of natural decorations and um, that includes some air-dried clay ornaments and gift tags that I made myself and I'll leave a link to uh, the blog post and the video um, where I give you the tutorial for that um, in the description to this video. Eco-friendly gift wrapping doesn't have to be plain and boring um, and I actually think that gifts wrapped this way are even more precious because they show how much care that you've put into the whole putting together of the parcel. And all of the ornaments can be recycled and maybe even used next year and the recipient could take the, the ornaments home with them as an extra little gift. So anyway, enough chatter, let's get on with wrapping some gifts. So I'll just run through some of the things that we have here. I've got some white paint and some black paint. I've picked some evergreen out of the garden. And these are the air dry clay ornaments that I made a few weeks ago. And as I said, I linked to the tutorial for that in the description below this video. And then this week I made these little star ornaments with air dry clay. And I'm going to be showing you how I made those um, a little bit later on. And I'll be using these to make these star ornaments. And then we've got some raffia, some dried orange slices, a paintbrush and a selection of ribbons and a scissors. These are Christmas gift tags that I made myself and if you go to this post on my blog you can see where to download them. And I've got some silver craft wire to make these. And this is washi tape which I'm using to tape up my presents instead of using clear tape. And then I've got some string and that's about it. So first of all you can see that I've wrapped the gifts in some brown paper and I've used washi tape to seal them. The great thing about washi tape is that it's made from sustainable sources and it's biodegradable. So after I've wrapped this gift I'm just tying it together with a simple narrow black ribbon, taping on one of my ornaments, adding a small amount of green and that's it. I thought a large bowl would be a bit of overkill for this smaller gift. So instead I've used two types of ribbon, one over the top of the other. The narrow black ribbon complements the wider check ribbon underneath. And then next I added a homemade Christmas tag and another DIY air dry clay ornament. And this time the white star and the bell. And then I just secured the star ornament to the gift with some more washi tape. I'm using my paper cutter to cut out the Christmas gift tags because it's a little bit quicker. And this is the first batch that I printed off and after I printed them I realized that the background was a little bit too light and it's quite hard to see the outline of the gift tags. So I went back into my graphic design software and made the background for these a little bit darker so that if you decide to download them from my website it'll be much easier for you to cut out.
Another eco-friendly gift wrapping idea is to create unique wrapping paper by hand painting designs onto plain craft paper. For three of my gifts, I'm creating a paint splatter effect using black and white craft paint. I always think it's a great idea to save some small glass jars to use for painting projects. Um, I use these small cosmetic jars. They're great for mixing small amounts of paint. So I'm just adding a few drops of water to a, a tiny drop of paint. And then I'm going to water it down slightly and really mix it in well with the paintbrush. I just have to let you know that, you know, the paint gets everywhere. So either put something underneath the parcels to protect your work surface or do this bit outside. And then just flick the brush towards the gifts, um, starting with the white paint first and then finish off with the black paint. Here I've wrapped some string around the gift about three times and tied it off with a bow. And then I gathered together two sprigs of evergreen and, and attached one of the smaller air dry clay star ornaments to it. And then I tied that to the string with some raffia and finished off with the, one of the black gift tags. I'm using some black and white gingham check to wrap up this next parcel. And I'm tying it up as you would tie a parcel and I'm finishing off with a bow. I'm folding the ribbon in half and using the scissors to cut on the diagonal and that will make the ends of the ribbon a little bit prettier. Even though this ribbon is not wired, I'm able to bend it into shape a little bit. I'm just rolling the ends of the ribbon around my fingers a few times to create a curl effect. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then please give me a thumbs up and consider leaving a comment. It only takes you a minute, but it really helps me a lot. Then I'm attaching an air dry clay ornament underneath the ribbon with some washi tape. Then tugging some of the greens underneath the ribbon and finishing off with one of the white gift tags. There you go. Doesn't it just look so pretty? Here I'm tying some raffia around the parcel lengthwise and I'm just tying it off in a knot. Then I'm adding another sprig of evergreen and one of my air dry clay star ornaments. And then I'm adding one of the white gift tags. And that's all there is to it. Here I'm using some of the pre-printed craft paper and first I'm wrapping a black ribbon around the length of the parcel and I'll attach it at the back with some washi tape and then I'm just going to add a contrasting ribbon in exactly the same way so that they sit side by side on the parcel. And then again some green, um, a nice ornament and here I've finished off by taping a, one of the black gift tags to the gift with some washi tape. And there's another lovely gift ready to go under the tree. For this last tiny gift I had a little bit of, of the gingham check ribbon left over, not very much but it was just enough to wrap around the top part of this parcel. So I just used that, again just some green, an air dry clay ornament and, and that was it for this parcel. And now I'm going to show you quickly how I put together these star ornaments. I made a tutorial for how to make these air dry clay ornaments a few weeks ago. So I'm not going to get into that now, but I'll link to it in the description below. I'm just cutting off a length of silver wire. Then I'm threading the wire through the loop at the top of this silver bell. Next I'm threading on a small white wooden bead and I'm wrapping the silver wire around the star quite a few times. I'm threading the wire through the wire on the back of the star a few times just to tie it off and make it secure. And then I'm twisting the wire into a hanging loop and then just twisting that off a few times to tie it off. And that's it. And here's a look at how my eco-friendly gifts turned out.
So I hope you liked my eco-friendly gift wrapping ideas and if you did like it then please give me a thumbs up that really helps me and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.